Vancouver police are asking for the public's help in identifying a suspect who assaulted a young woman in downtown Vancouver on April 12th. The suspect approached the Asian victim at a bus stop near Granville and West Pender Streets, punched her in the face, and then fled on a transit bus. The assault appears to be unprovoked, and there was no communication between the victim and the attacker. We are investigating this as a stranger assault, and the motive is unknown. The attacker is described as a white man in his mid-20s with a medium build. He was wearing a dark-colored t-shirt with a distinctive deer emblem on the front. He was also wearing a gray long sleeve shirt underneath his t-shirt and wearing a beanie style hat with gray and yellow stripes. Vancouver police are asking anybody with information about this incident to call the VPD's major crime section at 604-717-2541 or call Crime Stoppers anonymously at 1-800-222-8477. Is there any questions about the assault on April 12th? Physically, she's a lot better. Uh, emotionally, she's going to have to deal with this assault, which happened, uh, an unprovoked assault. There was no communication between her and this attacker. Uh, how she's been doing emotionally, she's going to have to recover, and we are there for her. We have provided victim services. Uh, physically, she will, be get, will, she will get better. She was a 22-year-old. 22 years old. Yes. Um, this attack obviously seen potentially in, in the broader scheme of rising Well, we don't want to speculate on the motive for this attack. Uh, for what is going on around the world right now, we're not ruling anything out. Um, we have notified the VPD Diversity and Hate Crime Section, and they are working with our investigators from our major crime section. This is why we want to identify the attacker so we can rule anything out and find out if this is a hate crime. This was a disgusting act, an assault on an innocent person. We don't want to see this type of crime happen to anybody in any community around our city or anywhere in Metro Vancouver. We're not going to tolerate this, and if this is a hate crime, we will be investigating it as that. Do you have any updated um, statistics or numbers on the numbers of hate crime reports or uh, crimes of anti-Asian sentiment that have happened in the last month or two? So, from the beginning of the year, from year to date, for 2020, we've had 46 reported incidents of hate crimes across the city. Compared to that from 2019, we had 35 incidents of hate crime. Uh, we do know that in the past month, there was 11 anti-Asian uh, based hate crimes. Um, and that's out of 15 for April. So that is a higher number than we are seeing. We are seeing a trend, uh, most likely due to the pandemic on Asian based hate crime. We are working with the community uh, the Chinese community, in trying to notify them that this isn't going to be acceptable. We are investigating all acts of hate crime, and we are encouraging people to come forward. We believe this to be an underreported crime, so this is happening a lot more around the city. If anybody does witness this, you don't have to be just the victim. If you are witnessing a hate crime against anybody in any type of community, we know that race, religion, uh, sexuality do play the main components in hate crimes. We're asking you to come forward, call our hate crimes investigators so we can look into this and investigate it. Help us understand why wait, you know, I know it takes time to get out of but why wait three weeks or so before making a public appeal to this? Well, I can reassure you that any crime that gets reported to the Vancouver police gets investigated. Uh, there's a series of steps that we go through from the initial call that comes into our dispatch, patrol officers being sent out to uh, the front line, uh, and then gathering evidence. And if an investigation needs, it will go to our specialty units, like our major crime sections, our diversity and our hate crimes, which do look into all these investigations. Uh, an investigation as serious as this isn't taken lightly. We want to gather as much evidence as we can to present to Crown the best report possible so that we can provide or proceed with a conviction. Um, nothing is taken lightly and there are certain steps we have to go through. Not all of our investigative methods are going to be released to the public. Uh, and that's just to protect the integrity of each investigation.
We know that he did board the number four bus to UBC uh, right after the incident. Uh, we know that he approached the female who was standing at a bus stop, punched her one time. There was no communication between the attacker and the victim. And then he did leave with an associate who is not associated to this crime. We're not uh, investigating the associate at this time. Through our investigative um, evidence that we have gathered so far, it appears to be a stranger assault on a victim uh, with one suspect. Okay. 